Hi guys and welcome to another We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kids. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Anyway. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Right, sorry Mike, uh, let's move uh, this out of the way, uh, or we can actually leave him here shall we, he's part of the crew now, so uh, sorry Mike, over to you. Yeah. Season's <laughs> greetings. <laughs> yeah, season's greetings. And welcome by our little friend here. Yes. How are you and welcome to the Mike and Tony video, hope you are well, hope you've been enjoying the build up to the Christmas period. So here we are with another video, sharing our thoughts and ideas and hoping, inspire, hopefully inspiring you into a step closer to your dreams. So, Tony, how have you been? I've been very good, thank you. Uh, with my buddy here, yes. Uh, <laughs> he's sort of uh, stopped the show a bit. Yes, very good, thanks. Um, just thinking this week uh, about um, time. Okay. Um, it, recently, I think because of the Christmas rush and everyone's shopping and it's all hectic and, oh, you know, I've got to get the Christmas tree, I've got to, got to get the presents. Um, lots of people talking about not having enough time to do mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And time is a big issue, isn't it? For yeah, well, we spoke about the only other time that we have in a previous video about now. So, just elaborate on what you mean by actual time and people stressing about their perception of the lack of time. Well, I think uh, one of the things that I've, that I've learned in this journey of self-development is, is that very often we use time as an excuse mm -hmm. because when you ask somebody what do you really, 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 really want to do, we automatically default to the easiest escape hatch, which is to say, well, it's all well and good, but I don't have enough time. And I hear that lots and lots, yeah. don't have enough time. And uh, we use it as, a, as an excuse. There is time, but it's more, more important about managing, what, what, first of all, what do you really, really, really want to do? Mm -hmm. What do you really desire? And then you actually do find the time. If it's if it's if it's something you're passionate about, you will find the time. So what you're saying is that people maybe need to think about prioritizing and thinking about what is more important to them than creating the time for those things that they want to do. Absolutely. I mean, one of the easiest things to think about is when do I wake in the morning? Mm. Do I do I you know get up late or do I get get up early? Or, and I'm a night owl, yeah. what am I doing in the evening time? Now, I don't really watch a lot of television. Yeah. Um, and we can spend, I mean, television's good to, to relax with, but for me, um, that period of time in the evening time, I could have the TV on, but very often that's my time to, to go away and, and get those things done that I don't, people say you don't normally have time for. So sometimes you can catch yourself doing things which actually are uh, more about relaxing which is important but you can find time there to to do things that you really want to do so if for example i have this issue a lot of time with prospects or potential clients <clears throat> in terms of something that i value and i've grown to value even more um, as i've got older is obviously time and obviously for many of us we exchange our time for our money but one thing I do encourage potential clients to do is to change their priorities because by changing their priorities they will find the time to mm -hmm. So obviously people say, oh, I don't have time to exercise or I don't have time to cook and prepare a healthy meal or I don't mm -hmm. have time to go out for a walk or to meditate and so on. But if those things are important to you, mm -hmm. you will find the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for the person who is sedentary, overweight, lacking energy, he or she hasn't made that priority to shift that, whereas the person who is coming to see me or is investing time in their fitness and their health, that is a priority to them, mm. and they are making and crafting the time mm. to do it. So it's a question of what's your priority, what is it, what is it mm. that you would like to see changed, improved, or developed, mm. and as you say, making the time for it. Mm. Because we don't really have no, the now time, mm. we only have a certain amount of hours in our day but how you choose to use those hours mm. will ultimately impact on what's going to happen mm. and how your life experiences uh, manifest and the other side of the coin which is really powerful is going with those things when you're in the flow 
Mm -hmm. because then that's another good way of using time. So for example, let's say it's evening time and you've got four things that you know you need to do for your business plan or for your dream, ambition, whatever it may be. What I do now is choose the nearest excitement out of those four. Mm -hmm. What's the one of those four that I'm really in the mood for doing? Because when we're in the mood to do something, we actually make more efficient use of time because you're in a flow. And, and one evening I said, well, I've got four things I know. And rather than worrying about, oh, I could do this or I could do this and kind of running around, go out for a quick walk, clear the head, come back in. Out of those four, which one do you want to do right now? And chose one of those and it just, just went really fast. And, and I, I was very productive in a short... So actually this whole issue of time is, is also about how you are being in that time because we all know if you're waiting for a bus i was stood in the rain last week waiting for a bus and it was i only had to wait 20 minutes but because it was wet it was raining and i was getting wet the time just lagged it was like i really I, I, i'm gonna start growing flippers soon it was that bad and it was really really the time just went on and on i thought this is proving to me that time really is relative mm. so so if you can choose something you're really into you're making great use of time because you'll be highly productive in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And I surprised myself. I came away thinking, wow, I've done all of that in, in a couple of hours. Yeah. But if I hadn't been in the mood and forced myself to do it, we could have stretched that out over maybe two days. Yeah. So that's important as well. Yeah, I think it comes back to how our perception of linear time is and what we are doing with the time yes. that we have. Yeah. I think that's very important. Yeah. So yeah. what would be your, your takeaways or... It, uh, things that people could actually implement to do now, today, when they're watching this video, to help them moving forward in terms of managing their time more effectively or managing their activity. Well, I think one of the other problems, we worry about time. We, we make this big monster out of time, an evil monster out of time, mm -hmm. that we've got to get, say, say you have to get, you know you've got to get 50 things done to get you to a certain point on your path towards your goal. Um, what happens is that we worry about all those 50 things, break it down into one step. Okay. So on the Monday, I'm a, it's a really, really busy day, I know, but I've got a period, I've got half an hour on that Monday, I can do step one. Right. Then I'll, well, you'll know about this from writing a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you, it's, it, you know, um, you can just take a, a chapter, less than a chapter a day. I don't know, it could be a page a day. Yes. Now, when you start off, you think, oh, it's only a page. I've got another you know, 300 pages to do. But if you then take the next day to do the next page, you'll be surprised how yes. far. So that's another way to warp time, to, to, to really... Because we can't, we can't control time, but we can manage yeah. our use of time. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so there you have folks, we've been speaking about time, so takeaways and questions I'm going to leave you with is how are you going to look to manage your time effectively, how are you going to look to use the uh, information that we've given you today to move you closer to your specific goals. Now, I'd love you to share some ideas, so I'm going to ask you to leave a comment. If you found this video of value please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel as yet please make sure you do that so you'll be alerted and notified when we upload our latest and greatest hits so for myself mike in my christmas jumper and our little friend <laughs> tony yeah great it's uh, we'll see you next time to your success to your success